Hi everyone, it is time for a new video and today is going to be my vlog for the Kindle Unlimited readathon. So this readathon is happening this week, January 26th to the 29th. So it's a four-day readathon and I'm going to link all of the lovely hosts down below. I am so excited. So I actually just uploaded a Kindle Unlimited video on Wednesday. That kind of just worked out randomly. <laughs> but if you want more Kindle Unlimited content and you haven't seen that, I'm going to link it down below. I read some absolutely incredible books in there that I'm probably going to mention a little bit in here because I do want to read some books by the authors whose books I read there. There are some prompts. And you can kind of like put your put together your own bingo board and I haven't fully finished doing that yet so we're gonna do that when I actually listen to my audiobook which um, let's talk about that so I do think I'm gonna give you a little bit of a TBR but obviously as always I like to mood read so this is just gonna be like some options that you might expect but I'm probably not gonna get to all of them and I'm probably gonna run into some other books along the way but <laughs> the first book we are definitely gonna be reading is one that I already started and that is Chick Magnet by Emma Berry so this is an adult contemporary romance. I do think that's like the main genre we're going to be reading and one of the prompts is um, your favorite genre or trope which I would say I tell me to be honest I can't really choose um, it's really hard for me to like choose one subgenre of romance whether that's contemporary paranormal or fantasy because like I do read contemporary the most but I wouldn't actually consider it my favorite but either way there's a lot of prompts. This could work for a new to me author. And I am actually starting um, the readathon a, a day early because <laughs> I, it is Wednesday today. And it, again, like I said, it's starting on Thursday officially. But on Friday, I am actually going to Manchester. And so I'm going to be there the entire day. And I could probably read um, on the train. So hopefully we're going to do that. But I'm still gonna have like one full day that I'm probably like that I'm not gonna read anything. And then every single time I participate in a readathon, one thing I panic about is I want to get the video, the vlog up as soon as possible, preferably before the end of the readathon. And so I really would love to get this video up on Sunday. And so if I read until Saturday night, that's hopefully gonna be possible. So let's talk about Chick Magnet. So I did get to 34%, and I'm really enjoying it. So this book actually came out just this week, like yesterday or two days ago and it is on Kindle Unlimited as an audiobook and an ebook. I love when this happens. I don't actually know how it works like what books have that specifically like what category of books um, but I it always makes me so happy because it's like I can have the audiobook without you know paying anything else for it. I have finally gotten back into listening to audiobooks. I kind of had an audiobook slump for a while and now I can't get enough so we have that one. I would love to find another. This is kind of like the city girl comes to a small town and uh, gets together with a small town guy and it's grumpy sunshine so the heroine in this her name is actually Nicole and I am absolutely not used to seeing my name in books. Like I don't think I've ever read a book with a heroine whose name was Nicole. Like I've seen it as like a side character um, or you know a few authors who have their name you know is Nicole um, but I haven't really seen it in a main character so I was like oh my gosh. <laughs> um, a lot of people call her Nick um, which is funny because like no one's ever called me Nick. Anyway so you know I'm a little bit excited about it. I don't know what that says about me but you know it's like I don't know it, it's cool. Anyways so um, she is basically literally like a influencer who makes videos about chicken, um, how to take care of them, facts about them, like all of those different things. And she falls in love with a grumpy veterinarian who actually has seen her content. So, oh my god, like, <laughs> so fun so far. It definitely has small town vibes. And it's just really fun, really cute. I love Grumpy Sunshine. And so it's just a really fun time so far. And we're definitely going to be finishing that um, hopefully tonight. So that is the first thing on the agenda. But then I want an ebook to go along with that. And I do think I might pick up Two Rakes for Mrs. Sparkwell by Ava Lee. So this was actually just published. Um, it's a novella that was in the Rake I'd Like to F anthology. 
and um so it's the cover is kind of strange because like it kind of gives contemporary vibes but it is a historical romance and so again it is a novella so I would love to read a couple novellas because just you know I love novellas first of all and second of all it is gonna make me feel you know like I'm making progress I'm reading a lot it's great <laughs> also I really like Ava Lee and this is gonna be a polyamorous romance and I just think it's gonna be super fun and like what else do I need you know and I do again like I do want to read multiple genres because I don't like reading like just one genre you know for a couple days and nothing else and then I don't know like I have so many books on Mike and Unlimited I have 19 <laughs> which you can have 20 so like one is still missing I want to just read all of this so I would love to read Off to the Races by Elsie Silver who is the author that I read her first book in the Can Unlimited vlog that I just posted and so I actually loved Flawless and Heartless adored I'm like Elsie Silver new favorite author and I, I know a lot of people have been reading her books and so I want to read this series and I do need to make sure that this is the first book in a series <laughs> so that would be like another small down romance then I really want to read Ignite by Melanie Harlow um which is supposed to be like a super good single dad romance which like we love to see that and then I have like a million other things so this is what's happening so far so yeah <laughs> let me know what you are reading right now if you participated in the unlimited readathon let me know you know how it went what you read or you know all of that and I'm gonna shut up and let's just get into the vlog hi everyone so it is the next day I kind of flopped at updating you yesterday I ended up going out to a coffee shop and I spent quite a while there and I did read and I do have updates but I just you know got tired I finished Chick Magnet by Emma Berry so I really enjoyed this I ended up giving it I ended up giving it four stars I felt like in the main reason why it's not a five star is I felt like the romance felt a little stagnant in a lot of moments like it's kind of slow burn but for a long time the main characters knew that they liked each other but they were kind of fighting it a lot and it just for a while it just you know it felt like a little too long for me and there was a lot going on outside the romance but besides that it was so sweet it was so cute and like really heartwarming and well the hero also has depression and he goes to therapy and we love to see that and both of the main characters were basically like avoiding falling in love because um nick basically had like a super horrible relationship and just it was really toxic and you know just really shitty and she got out of it like a while ago but she just is not ready to trust anyone else and will is really self-conscious and you know he does again like i said he does have depression and he also basically is losing his like veterinarian practice and so he feels like shit about that and doesn't really know how to handle it um, so I loved the like mental health themes in here and the way that um, the two main characters like connected to each other and how they all like how they worked it all out. I absolutely loved that. And there were like some friendships and other things as well, which was really cute. And so overall, it was just like a wonderful, sweet, small town romance. Um, there it gets like a little bit steamy, but I do think that this would be a great recommendation for people who don't really like to read a lot of smut in their romance because um, it's not really that explicit and like I know that a lot of Kindle Unlimited books are obviously very steamy <laughs> and explicit so if you want something that's not like that this would be a great option but they still had like amazing chemistry and there was just you know some like really great flirting and everything and so I just really enjoyed it so that is the first book read and I haven't finished anything else yet and I kind of like am all over the place because I couldn't decide like what I want what else I wanted to read because obviously I do want to read the books that I told you about but again I'm a mood reader and I was just like I don't know so I want to mention um two other books that I think I'm going to pick up next <laughs> but I did make progress with two rakes for Mrs. Sparkwell and I got only to 15% but um I am excited I don't fully know where it's going right now but basically how it starts is the heroine asks one of the heroes um to ruin her and she's like she basically got married before and her ex-husband had a son who's now like 
a grown man and he is basically trying to force her to marry another person um and she doesn't want to do that and so she wants to ruin her reputation so that that can't happen and so that's how it starts i have no idea how the other third main character is gonna like join the plot so we'll see <laughs> Um, but the two other books that I really want to read are Digging Up Love by Chandra Blumberg. So I had this, I've had this on my TBR for quite a while, and I realized that this also has the audiobook as well on Kindle Unlimited. So again, I would love to have another audiobook option, and so we're going to be reading that. I w don't really remember anything about it, so I'm going to tell you the plot when we get to it, but another novella that I ran into is Guidance by Danielle Allen. So I definitely wanted to read something by Danielle Allen and I do have sweatpants season on my TBR but I kind of wanted another novella and so I was trying to find if she has you know a novella and this one should be I can't really see the page number on Goodreads or on Kindle but it's definitely like a novella length. I just can't tell how short or you know how long. <laughs> I am very excited about it because the like there's like the tiniest description on <laughs> both Goodreads and Kindle, but like I immediately was intrigued and I love Danielle Allen. And so like, I honestly don't need to know more, but I'm gonna read that sentence to you. So it says, um, when you're a mental health professional, your job is to take care of everyone else, but who takes care of you? And then one of the reviewers wrote down that Danielle Allen never fails, this was hot. Single dad knows what he wants, knows how to please. <laughs> and I saw that, and I was like, I'm reading this immediately. I love single parent romances. Everything about those just sounds so good. I feel like it's just gonna be amazing and a quick read and you know, so I am gonna go to Starbucks right now and I actually do wanna write. So I'm gonna take my laptop, hopefully they're gonna have chargers because my laptop does not work anymore without a charger. Um, but I do wanna read and I do think that this is actually what I might pick up because while I'm enjoying the historical romance, I feel like I'm just really in the mood for this. So we'll see. everyone so i just took a shower so please ignore my wet hair but i'm here to do an update it is still the same day and i did some reading so like i told you i went to starbucks and while at starbucks i read the entirety of guidance by danielle allen so oh my god <laughs> i loved this so much like, oh my god, I, you know, obviously I was reading it in public and I was like, holy shit, like, I'm losing it. I can't keep a straight face. And like, I'm very, very, very good at that. But I was like hiding my face like, oh my god, like, <laughs> it was so good. So it is a novella. I think it might be like 80 pages or something. Again, it doesn't really say the page number, but like, that's, I think, my guess. It was so good. Oh my god. I don't think I'm gonna tell you that much more because again I told you it's a single parent, single dad romance and he takes care of her in many different ways <laughs> and it's it, like I don't know it just works so well like even though it's kind of you know like they meet at the beginning of the story it all happens really fast it just somehow feels really natural and it doesn't feel insta lovey or anything like that and it is just like really steamy and really fun and sweet and like swoon worthy honestly i was there just like oh my god like where are men like this in real life like where are they you know because like oh my god <laughs> so yeah i don't really have much more to say my only complaint is it's way too short like i fell in love with the main characters it was so good and it i wouldn't say it's like cut abruptly it doesn't like end abruptly but at the same time it's not like you know wrapped with a bow because like it wouldn't make sense and it wouldn't feel natural and it would feel a little you know it would feel rushed or whatever if like more happened but oh my god, like, I wish this was a full-length novel, which, like, I'm not blaming the book, because it's it's not what it is, you know? But it's like, <laughs> it was incredible. It was so good. So I have heard a lot of people talk about Daniel Allen, but I feel like the only books 
that people have mentioned are Truth or Dare and Business Casual, which are the two that I did read before this one, and I loved them. Like, Truth or Dare is like a friends to lovers summary type of a book, and Business Casual is an office romance. Both of them are so good. Um, but I haven't heard anyone talk about Danielle Allen's other books, and so definitely pick this up. And I downloaded another one, Plot Twist. The cover is so cute. And like, like I said, when I finished Guidance, I was like, I need more of this. Like sexy, super fun, swoon-worthy vibes. Like, I don't know what Danielle Allen does, but the writing is so good. It is like so addicting and I need more. And like I told you, I do have sweatpants season. But for some reason, you know, I was just excited to try out something new that, like, I didn't know before. So this is supposed to be, like, a second chance romance, and I feel like it's going to be really emotional. I also think it's a novella, but I think this one is going to be a little longer, and I'm very excited. Again, I haven't heard anyone talk about it before, and so we're going to dive into that. It is 164 pages, yes, so it's longer, and yeah, so I have a lot of books on here. And I did start a little bit of Digging Up Love, but I'm not going to tell you anything about it yet because I only listened for a little bit and um, I feel like I am not really in an audiobook mood right now. So we're going to leave that for another time, maybe like tomorrow or on Saturday. Um, but yeah, we're going to be reading this because I'm not fully in the mood for the historical romance either right now. And so we're going to read Plot Twist and then I think I'm going to read After the Races by Elsie Silver. Like, what a combo. Like, I am ready. Like, I just feel like I need the, like, super emotional, intense, passionate romances right now. I feel like both of these are gonna give me that. So, I don't know. I'm going to try to update you later today, but, um, I'm not sure about it, so I might talk to you tomorrow night, because I do actually have to get up super early in the morning. The, well, for my, like, standards, I wake up really late every single morning, and, um, <laughs> so I'm probably not gonna have time to talk to you in the morning. So it is not Friday or Saturday. It is Sunday now. <laughs> so I obviously kind of flopped at updating you, but I have been doing some reading. So let's talk about it. And I know that I said that I would end the vlog on Saturday, but I am still reading a book that I'm absolutely loving. We're going to get to that in a second. And I want to at least finish that. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll just read for the whole day. I will still try to edit it and get it up. But I also just, you know, want to have a fun time and I want to keep reading and whatever. So <laughs> I was going to update you yesterday, but then my camera battery died and it just charged way too late. And then I just thought, you know what, I'm going to talk to you today. So I did not read a single thing on Friday. Like I read maybe literally like four pages. I just, you know, focused on other things. Like when I'm traveling, I actually like really enjoy the journey and like my favorite thing to do is to listen to music and look out of the window. Like that is the most relaxing thing for me. And so I don't actually tend to read on the train or the plane. Like sometimes I do, but like definitely not the whole way. So I just didn't read anything and <laughs> I didn't want to pressure myself, you know. But on Saturday, yesterday, I did finish Plot Twist by Danielle Allen, which I'm pretty sure I mentioned to you. So I did not really like this one, unfortunately. Um, it's basically, like I told you, a second chance romance. And the couple definitely has so much potential. I really liked the couple, but it's basically that, like, you see how the relationship ended last time, um, right at the beginning, and then they're separated for four years. And we basically, a half of the book is the heroine talking to her friends, going to this bachelor par bachelorette party and this wedding, and she basically is, like, with different guys at in both cases. And then only like the second half of the book is focused on our actual couple. And I really don't like that, especially in a novella. Like I needed to be fully focused on the couple for it to really work. And I felt like, you know, it had so much potential, but like they were separated for four years. Like they needed to go through 
like a lot of, you know, like <laughs> catching up and like communication and like so much development, you know, and so that just did not really work in here. I also just really don't like when there's like different people involved alongside the couple and, you know, especially again in a novella. So it didn't really work for me. I did give it three stars. Like I didn't hate it. Again, I did really like the couple, but it just like overall the plot just didn't work. Um, that being said, you should absolutely pick up Guidance, and I definitely want to dive deeper into Daniel Allen's backlist, because again, like, I've only heard people mention, like, a couple books, and I didn't know how big her backlist actually is, and so, um, definitely gonna do that, not today, we don't have time anymore, but, <laughs> yes, so I read that, and then I did start Off the Races by Elsie Silver, so that is the book that I absolutely want to finish. So I got to like 30% of this one and I'm loving it. Like I knew I would, but I'm still so happy. Like it honestly feels really similar to the um, Chestnut Springs series. That's like the um, flawless, heartless, powerless series that everyone's been talking about that I read actually in my last video, if like, <laughs> which is so weird because I actually read that like two months ago or a month ago at least at this point but you just saw it this week so that's kind of funny but yeah I'm loving it just as much and it's like a very similar you know the writing style is really similar all the qualities are really similar and the couple dynamic doesn't feel like super unique but like it is still different and I absolutely love it and it's just like I do feel like Elsie Silver is gonna be the author who kind of gives you the same vibe and feeling every single book but still makes the characters feel different and I'm absolutely here for that because I absolutely love the writing style love the vibe all of it so like she's actually gonna make me love the like farm settings which is <laughs> I would never expect it, but the Chestnut Spring series is like cowboy romances, and in this book, um, it's set at a farm, and the heroine is a horse trainer, and the hero is, I actually don't, like, he's her boss, and he's kind of like uh, part of the family that, like, owns the farm. I don't know, I don't remember the details of that, but whatever, they work together, and so it is kind of like a workplace romance, but in a very specific, you know, farm setting, and the heroine basically has to train this horse that is really difficult and really grumpy, and it's really funny because, like, this book is sort of grumpy sunshine, but the heroine, I would call her, like, sunshine, but, like, rough around the edges, and she does not take any shit from the hero. She actually gets really annoyed at him, and, you know, she calls him out, and all the all these things, which again, we love to see that in the past vlog. I said a very similar thing because that like, <laughs> it's a very common dynamic in the books and I love it though. I absolutely love it. I'm never going to have enough. So, um, I love that. So it is definitely the like grumpy boss vibe. Who's just like a rich dude who has been through a lot and he's not exactly approachable, you know, uh, but both of them are really attracted to each other and trying to fight it because they're annoyed at each other. And at the same time they work together. So they're, you know, they're like, yeah, we really should not be doing this, but they can't resist. So <laughs> I, again, will also never have enough of that. I love, I live for that. It gives me life. It's amazing. I love it. So I feel like this is exactly what I needed today. And I, again, will try to edit this video and I'll see how long it is. Because, like, I honestly could read this really fast, but it is, like, 2 p.m., so we'll see. I do also need to look at the prompts because I have not done that, but I'm sure, like, we could put together a bingo at this point, so <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I'm having a really great time. I do feel like I haven't read, you know, as much as I wanted to, but if I finish this, I will still have read four books in basically four days kind of like three days of actual reading. So, you know, not bad, and I am reading really great books, so you know, we love to see it. So yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna shut up and I'll talk to you later today when I either finish the book or, you know, want to tell you something about it. I might just like talk to you after I finish it because I feel like, you know, it's just the kind of book that I want to fully immerse myself in and not do anything else. So I'll talk to you then. Hi everyone. So it is time for an update. I hope this lighting is okay. It is 11 p.m. now. <laughs> it is still the same day, but it's 11 p.m. And so obviously there's no daylight, but I feel like hopefully it looks okay. Um, but I'm here to give you a reading update and to wrap up this video. So I did end up finishing After the Races. I just finished it like five minutes ago and I adored it. So let's talk about that. It is going to be the last thing that I read. Obviously I still have an hour left technically, but I just... 
I don't want to, you know, rush anything. And so it's been a great time. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching it. But before I go, let's talk about off to the races. So, oh my god, I forgot to check. I was going to check if this book is Elsie Silver's debut. I haven't heard anyone talk about any other series and it is the first book in this series. So except for obviously Chestnut Springs, but like I knew that was the like latest series. So I need to check that because it's like if this is her debut novel, it is absolutely impressive and like incredible because it is so good. So while I was reading the book, I was like in some moments I was thinking maybe this is not going to be a full five star. Like I felt like maybe it would be like a 4.5 or you know there was just like a little bit of something that didn't feel as perfect <laughs> as the other book other two books that I just read um but you know because just like Flawless and Heartless seriously set such an incredible standard again I did read them in literally my last vlog <laughs> and like these books are literally god tier books and you know I didn't want to go into this book comparing this to those because again like even if is this even if this is not the debut like it still was many books ago and so you know not every single book is going to be perfect but to be honest it was still absolutely amazing and I still think I'm going to give it five stars because like the only I can't even fully pinpoint what like gave me those feelings at some points it was just kind of like the pacing or like the way that the romance developed and the conflict was so painful but like to be honest it still like made sense. I loved the ending and just like oh my gosh I absolutely loved our two main characters so much and I need to read the second book immediately like I remembered the plot but now I know who the two main characters are because they were in this book and I'm so ready. I am so ready. I'm literally going to be reading it immediately, to be honest. And I am going to be doing another Kindle Unlimited vlog, because in the last vlog, you did tell me that I should make, like, part two to the, like, reading Chandler Ainsley's favorite books video. Um, so it's probably going to be, like, not specifically Chandler's favorites, but the most popular Kindle Unlimited books. Um, so I'm gonna be filming that soon because I'm in such a indie romance mood right now. Like, I wish this readathon was longer so that I could read more, but I can just, you know, start that video soon and do that and just keep reading, you know? <laughs> but yeah, so this book, like, Vaughn and Billy just like still owned my heart, you know? And I said, I called it Grumpy Sunshine. It is definitely not Grumpy Sunshine. To be honest, Billy feels more grumpy than Vaughn at some points. Cause like she is a badass. She really calls people out. She stands up for herself. She is so fucking cool. I love her. And Vaughn, while he is grumpy, he actually ends up not being as closed off as Billy. Like, you know, once he falls for her, he's just like, I need to have her. I don't give a shit about anything else. And Billy definitely holds back a lot. So if you love romances where the two main characters, like, try to avoid falling in love really hard, you need to read this. And so while it's not grumpy sunshine, <laughs> it is still such a fun dynamic. I love it so much. I love the two of them so much. It was so fun. It's steamy. It's emotional. It's romantic romantic and sweet and oh my gosh I loved Dee Dee the horse in this and like all of those parts again like I'm not like a massive farm farm horse type of fan <laughs> I wouldn't even expect to like that as a setting at all to be honest it's like really not my style but I just like the way Elsie Silver writes these books is incredible so even if you don't typically like those settings and types of books I really think you should ch check out Elsie Silver's books and so I will be binging this series like I don't want it to be over um but I also just like don't want to resist so I will be reading the sequel right away because <laughs> oh my god so yes um that will be this vlog but again definitely look forward to more Kindle Unlimited content because I'm really like in the zone you know like I'm ready to read so much more and like find new authors and read more books by the authors that I already love and all of that. So let me know if you have any recommendations. Yeah, again, all of the wonderful hosts are gonna be linked down below. So definitely, you know, subscribe to them and all of that. And thank you to them. I don't know if any of them would be watching this, but <laughs> thank you for hosting this readathon because it was so much fun. I also just realized I did not like end up putting together the bingo board because I completely forgot. But I'm sure I got a bingo in some way because the 
prompts were pretty simple. So, you know, whatever. I had a good time. I read some great books and hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. So if you made it this far in the video, leave a horse emoji down below. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'm gonna see you soon in another video. Bye!